Hey guys, it's Medine from IndieBuff, and today I'll be showing you guys how I made this Portal 2 prototype using nothing but IndieBuff's AI assistant. Let's get started. I'm starting off using the chat mode to ask how I'd even go about making this kind of game. Um, these initial instructions that the AI gives me help me understand what kind of prompts I could ask for in the future. I'm then using the prototype mode to quickly build out a simple map for testing. I'm given each individual command to make the map, but instead of executing them one by one, I just decided to run all of them to save some time. Now that I've got my map, I want to make a player object. Um, so I go ahead and use the prototype mode again, and I ask it to create a player object. And again, it gives me all the commands, but I hit execute all, and it's giving me a player object with a capsule collider, a rigid body, um, but no script. So that's what we're going to make next. For scripting, I use the slash script mode, and I'm able to create and edit scripts this way. Uh, you saw right there that I dragged in the player object, and by providing context to the AI, I'm able to ask for more relevant and high quality changes. So I just asked for some WASD movement code and an FPS controller mode so I can use my camera with my mouse, and it gives me these scripts. Instead of actually creating those files and copy and pasting the content, I can simply hit insert the script and it's able to create the file if it doesn't exist or make the necessary edits if it does exist. So yeah, as you can see there, I'm creating both files from scratch. And now when I go ahead and test it out, I can see that I'm able to control my player using WSD and my camera with my mouse, which is pretty cool. Now that that was working, I wanted to add a dash and a jump to my player. So I again drag in the player object so the AI knows to make changes to this object. And it gives me the necessary code which when I press insert, you can see now it's making um, edits to my actual file. And from there, I'm able to accept or deny the changes. This way I have full authority of how the AI inserts code and whether or not I wanna use it. So after accepting all the changes, I can go ahead and try it out and you can see it's working there. I quickly added a gun for my player and I wanted it to move with my player's camera, but it was bugging out. So I used slash chat to ask for some debugging help. It gave me the suggestions and I followed them and after implementing them, you can see that it's working here. It's clipping through the ground, but I'm not really concerned about that for now. I then went back to the prototype mode and used it to create a simple crosshair in the middle of my screen. Again, I'm getting the full list of commands, but I just hit execute all. IndieBuff's able to create simple UI for now, so this actually worked out great. Now that I had all the initial setup, it was time for the core scripts. Back to slash script mode, I ask it to make the core portal functionality, and it's giving me two scripts to do this, one for the gun and one for the portals. I went ahead and created those scripts, and I realized that it gave me a list of instructions that I could use for my next prompt. After following the AI's instructions and pasting in the suggestions from the previous response, I was able to quickly create my portal prefabs and assign a player tag to my character. There you can see the player tag. And in my assets, you can see the portal prefabs. I then dragged in the portal prefabs into the script and I noticed something. It was looking for a portalable layer, but it didn't create it. So I used the slash prototype mode to create the portalable layer and assign it to all the terrain that I dragged in as context. And there you can see that it's been assigned to all the different walls. I wanted to test it out and when I was clicking on the walls to create the portals, I realized that the portals were actually white, so it was very difficult to see. I went ahead and used the prototype mode, I dragged in the portal prefabs as context, and I told IndieBuff to make them blue and orange accordingly. It went ahead and created the materials and assigned them as well. You can see them working here. After some quick testing, it seemed the portals were teleporting me correctly, but wasn't spawning me in front or orienting me the right way. I dragged in the portal script as context, and I asked it to make those necessary changes. I 
I then went ahead and pressed insert and then accepted the change that it made. Testing it out, it was working great, and it was very cool to see how quickly I got the core mechanic set up. Here I'm just playing around with it a little bit more. I realized that I wasn't keeping my momentum when I exited the portal, so I was going to have to ask the AI to do that for me later. Obviously, I had to make the infinite portal setup. To make it feel really portal-esque, I wanted to make sure I kept my momentum when teleporting out of a portal. So again, I drag in the necessary script and ask the AI to make that final touch. Just like that, I had my working portal prototype. I was able to get this prototype done in under 45 minutes with just back and forth dialogue with the AI, where I had to do very little fiddling around with in the editor and zero scripting. Here's a quick map I made to play through to simulate how it would look like in an actual game. We plan on adding more functionality, especially to the prototype mode. We want it to be able to handle more advanced UI and animations. Very soon, we'll be adding a debug mode for more in-depth script debugging. Game development doesn't have to be hard. Whether you're a scripter looking to build faster, a designer looking to prototype concepts, an artist wanting to see your assets come to life, or a studio looking to save time and money on throwaway work. We're hoping that we can make something for you. If you're interested in trying out the tool, we'd love for some feedback. Right now, we're giving limited time premium access to our Discord members, so feel free to join and let us know what you think.